Hello everyone, welcome back to Alisa Lifestyle Vlog. So in today's video, I want to talk about what are the things that you will do upon arrival in the USA. So I know many of you are curious on what are the things that you need to prepare, you need to process before you, you start your work. So I will make sure to provide you all the information you need. But before that, I want to thank um, one of my subscriber who came to visit me. So she just arrived yesterday from the Philippines. Congratulations to you, Sophia, and thank you so much for the goods that you gave me. I appreciate it so much. So guys, just like Sophia, baka kayo na din ang susunod na dadating dito. So I'm so excited for all of you. And I know many of you are already done with your visa. You already have an approved visa. You're just waiting for your CFO sticker. So just count, you're just counting the days. And hopefully this video will help you have a peace of mind, and you will know what to do upon your arrival here in the U.S. So without further delay, let's start. And please don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Before your flight to the U.S., you should have a housing accommodation already set up. So one way you can find one is to talk to your principal or your HR. They are going to be willing to help you out, find a place for you to stay. Most Pinoy teachers will tend to find a room rental instead of a house or apartment. The reason for that is when you find an apartment or a house rental here, there are so many requirements and one of this is credit score. Since you are still outside the US, you don't have that. So your best option is to find a room rental. The rates can be different. There are some people who will pay $600 all in with utilities. Some people will pay $700 to $800 depending on what city. So if you are in the city, it's kind of expensive between $600 to $800. But if you are in a, um, in a small town, maybe $300 will do. So all in na usually yung mga room rentals dito. And so you will not pay for electricity, you will not pay for um, water. So parang package na yung price nila. So you need to find a accommodation because one question ng officer during your port of entry interview is your place where you will stay. So it's important that you can give him a complete address that they can check in the system. So when you arrive in your port of entry, there is still an officer who will interview you. And don't take this for granted because they can still decide if you can enter the United States or not. All right, so make sure that you are ready. And one of that is to have an address already that you will be staying here in the US. So now back to our topic for today. What are the things that you need to prepare? So of course, you need to make sure that you will get paid on time, right? So first is your payroll requirements. So your payroll officer or your HR will ask you the following, your fingerprint, your social security number, and your bank account info. So the first thing that you can do is to go to, to a nearest bank, apply for a checking account, not savings. It should be a checking account because that is what we have here. So a checking account can be connected to your district um, payroll. So they can automatically send it to your account, your salary through your checking account. And you will receive a checkbook and all of that and submit um, the necessary document usually you just need to fill up a form and then um, show a valid identification your passport once you already have your bank account info sent to your hr the next thing you can do is to process your fingerprint clearance card so fingerprint clearance is like an nbi clearance so it's not that hard to get one you just need to ask your hr the best possible way so in my own experience i was given a packet and i completed it by going para siyang police station all right dito sa usa so i went there and I, I of course I booked an appointment and I went there and they did all my th thumbprint and after that I just needed to pay like $25 para siyang donation for the service and, uh, and he gave me uh, the complete packet that I need to mail with a payment of $60 for the fingerprint so I just needed to wait for one to two weeks your HR will have the full information on how you can get your fingerprint clearance so don't worry about it next is of course your social security now can you apply for your social security right away definitely not you need to wait 10 days from your arrival date before you can go to the social security office and apply for your social security number so the social security number will also take time like maybe a week or two now these are the things that you need to have 
for you to get paid. Another thing that you need to work on is your phone number. So here in the US, hindi uso itong SIM card na sa, katulad sa Pilipinas na you just buy and then you can get a number and that's it and you will just buy loads. Dito hindi, you need to really apply for a phone line. So just like when applying for a house or an apartment rental, you also need a credit score when you apply when you apply for a phone plan. Kaya importante talaga dito ang credit score. So you need to take care of it, okay? Now, the best option for you is to, to ask someone here in the U.S. to add you under their under their line para makakuha ka ng linya mo. Again, iba-iba. Meron T-Mobile, Verizon dito, um, AT&T. So you just need to choose the best one that has strong signal. Importante na may phone number ka kasi when you apply, when you process things, usually they ask for your phone number. Another thing is your transportation. Pero namang mga different transportation mode dito, may mga bus. Yung mga nasa small town, they are, you're very lucky because may bus talaga that will go around the town. And ang rate niya is actually like very cheap lang. 75 cents per ride or one dollar, I'm not sure right now. Pero once you are in the city, that's rare. That's why most of the teachers here will do a carpool. So they will avail a carpool service um, from fellow Pinoy teachers and they usually pay around um, kung monthly maybe 100 to 150 monthly kung weekly naman maybe 25 to 30 dollars so depende sa agreement nyo and now you also need to understand that dito sa US mahal ang car mahal mayroon pa yung insurance and then gas prices pa diba so um, pero find the most reasonable one lang so importante na meron kang carpool now you might say no maglalakad lang ako kasi naman walking distance lang naman no i would not really um suggest that because the weather here is really really extreme it can be very hot or sometimes during winter it could be very cold now it's what yung tipirin okay so make sure you're comfortable also diba sobrang tired ka na sa work and then maglalakad ka pa and then it's not that safe as well put some budget for your carpool if you have established a good credit score na maybe six months to one year, then you can get your own car, get your own phone line, and find a house or apartment. So patience is the key. Another thing is teaching certificate. So most of you right now, wala kayong teaching certificate. So dito sa Arizona, sobrang very easy lang ng pag ng teaching certificate. You just need to bring these requirements um, in the Department of Education office and then they will give you information and then they will let you apply for your teaching license. So, may fifilapan ka lang na form and then attach all these requirements that they need. Um, it's important that you will have your teaching certificate as soon as you can. So, right now, dito sa Arizona, you will get a foreign teaching certificate kahit wala ka nang napasa na exam. You just need your verification of experience and of course, your credential evaluation. How to get Arizona Foreign Teachers Teaching Certificate First is to visit the Arizona Department of Education website. Then click the requirements. These are the following requirements. Application fee of $60, fingerprint card, evaluated credentials, verification of teaching experience, and J-1 visa. These are the step-by-step -step process. First is you need to have your requirements submitted and complete the application form. By the way, you also need to leave the social security number blank. Make sure to put in your signature and on the second page, you need to choose the certification that you are qualified for. This is the verification of experience form in Arizona. You will need to ask your employer to sign and fill up this form. You need to provide separate copies for every employer. You must make sure to accomplish this one and bring it with you upon arrival in the USA. You can bring a hard copy of this. Links will be provided in the description below. So for those teachers who are hired in a different state, 
please visit call the department of education in that state and they will really help you get your teaching certificate and lastly of course you need to visit your school i know you're so excited right so first thing you need to do is you visit your school see your principal and i'm sure they're gonna be very happy to see you as well so it's important that you go around the school you know the way before you start working and you also visit your classroom and see what things that you can improve and you can how can you decorate or how can you arrange your classroom um yes and it's a very exciting thing you now seeing your classroom where you will be teaching and i know that this is a new journey for you um when i started here i was really really scared on what to do that's why um that's why i decided to make vlogs because iba talaga na meron kang idea on what will happen from other people's experiences. So if you want to know how you can survive and how you can be successful in the US, please watch my video about it. And this video will really tell you the tips and tricks for you to be successful in your journey as a teacher here in the USA. Thank you so much everyone. I'm so happy that I was able to help a lot of people in realizing their American dream. I hope you can continue to follow my channel at Alisa Lifestyle Vlog. I also have a Facebook page and Instagram as well. And please follow and join our Facebook group, Filipino Teachers Unite in USA. Thank you so much everyone. Have a great day and see you in my next video.